Welcome to ihnani.com. Computer Fundamentals Part 2 Level 1 Computer Internals Agenda When you complete this course you should be familiar with What is a computer? What is a computer made up of? What is hardware? What is software? How does a computer work? What is a computer? Put in simple words, a computer is, a machine, that follows commands. It cannot learn on its own, and unless told to act, it won't even respond to anything. But, the main qualification of a computer is, that it can do, very, complex mathematical operations, always involving the basic addition, multiplication, subtraction and division. As we know these basics can get approximations of more sophisticated math, which are pretty close to reality. Computer being a machine can do this very quickly. When I say quickly, it means that a computer these days can do a math operation even in a picosecond. A picosecond is one trillionth, or one millionth of one millionth of a second. A picosecond is to one second as one second is to 31,700 years. Another qualification of a computer is that, it can store huge amounts of data, and also, return it back to you, when asked, or processed and returned at astonishing speeds. In these days, we can carry a complete library in a storage device as small as a coin. And remember, the size of the storage device is shrinking day by day. With these two qualities, the computer can process data and also store them. In other words, a computer can store any data, which can be of any size, provided it has sufficient storage capacity. A computer can accept data and instructions from external entities, it can store this data and instructions. It can process the data based on the instructions given to it, and also, it can retrieve them back. Because of this, the computer is also called a data processor. Now, we have another question. What is data processing? In computer terms, data processing is any process, that, uses a computer program to enter data and summarize analyze or otherwise convert data into usable information. Since, data is most useful, when well presented and informative, data processing systems are often referred to as information systems. To put it simple, raw data is unprocessed data, and, processed data is information. Information from a different perspective will be just raw data. Hence, there is no hard and fast rule to define raw data and information. To give you, some idea, about data and information, consider this scenario. A list of names, with country, and salary can be termed as, raw data. But if we process the same, and get only the list of people from a particular country, we can say that this is a list of people belonging to a particular country. This is process data. Now it makes sense for a marketing agency or somebody who works on people. This process data, when again looked, from the perspective of a luxury goods manufacturer, it is just raw data. This list, of names, with country and salary is of not much use, but, if we segregate them, based on their salary group, and retrieve only the list of people, who are, from a higher income group, this becomes important for luxury goods manufacturer. In this way, every data when viewed from a particular perspective, it can be either raw data or process data. In terms of a data processor, data, that is raw data, when, processed based on certain instructions, becomes information or processed data. So data is the input and information is the output of data processing. Based on whatever I have explained till now, 
You can say that a computer is a machine, that accepts, stores, processes and retrieves the data. Now, we have another question. Isn't this is what we have been doing all these years, since ages? Simple answer, to the above question is, yes. But not like the way a computer does. To explain this, let us, take an example of yourself. Do you remember, what you did when you were a five-year-old, on a certain day, at a certain period of time? If you are in mid-thirties like me, then, to record your actions of every day in detail, you might have to pen down thousands of pages. And at the same time, it's literally impossible to carry all this by your own, and it requires quite a lot of ground space to store them, and it has to be maintained and protected. Now, if we start to add your family members' data, your friends, colleagues etc. Just, assume how much of data you have. Now in order to get the data what I asked for, you have to run through all the pages, and even if you have organized it very well, it will take quite some time to fetch it. At the same time you can't carry all this info with you. But, using a computer, you can record, carry and maintain it easily. Today's computers are also shrinking in size and growing in capabilities day by day. A computer can not only store your daily activity even to a minute detail of your entire life, it can also retrieve it at astonishing speeds, when you ask for it. Because of the shrinking size of the storage devices, you can not only store the data of all the people you know and retrieve it, but you can also retrieve the process data at blazing speeds. Isn't it amazing? Pewter has done a lot to shape the modern world. But, as with anything it has led to both good and bad things. However, it has helped us to do things that we never could have imagined. Hope you now should at least have a faint idea about what a computer is and what can be expected out of a computer, in the next video of Computer Fundamentals, Part 2. Level 1. I will explain on the topic what is a computer made up of. You can find a lot of free video tutorials, training materials, how-to videos and much much more at our site www.ihnani.com. Check out the forum topic related to this tutorial on the site for all your questions.